Hello crafty friends, I'm Lien from Studio Kato and I am so happy to be back on the Alex Siberia Designs YouTube channel today with this cute bunny card. I am using the Spring Bunnies stamp set today and you can absolutely make some adorable Easter cards with this, but I decided to make a generic hugs card because those are the ones I send the most, just some cards that you can send for any occasion just to show someone that you're thinking of them. This stamp set definitely includes some really fun scenic elements. There is a strawberry balloon, there is a giant carrot, I love those. I really should make a card with those because I think they're so fun. But for this card I only stamped all of the bunnies. I stamped all of the bunnies twice. I'm using my Misty for this and a piece of cardstock that will make sure that I can stamp this group of bunnies twice on that cardstock. So because I'm using a Misty stamping tool, all I have to do after stamping it the first time, I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink by the way, is turn my page around like so and then I can stamp it again. Now these are a lot of bunnies <laughs> for one card. I actually ended up having three leftovers so I made an entirely different card with those and I forgot to film it but I did share it on Instagram a while back, uh, that card I created with the leftovers so I will leave a link in the description below if you want to see that. But for now I am just going to color all of these in. And I was inspired by the very simple coloring of the bunnies that is included on the back of the stamp set. Alex Habir Designs really likes to show you some examples for colors or for your coloring um, on the back of the stamp sets. And I love that. It's great inspiration if you're not entirely sure which colors you want to use or if you want to keep it simple because this is some very simple coloring and I never do something like this. I always want to add shading, but that were too many bunnies to add shading to all of these. So I added some really light pink and I actually thought it was too light, so I went over all of the ears and the bellies with that pink again to make it a little bit darker. Um, I made this card a long while ago and I forgot to note down the markers I used. It's only two, um, but yeah, I don't have the markers anymore. I can't tell you the numbers. But I just use a very light brown gray and a very light pink and th those are all the colors I used for this card. Now once all of the bunnies are colored I am going to stamp all of this again. I have left the stamps in my Misty while I was coloring so now I can go back in with VersaFine Onyx Black Ink and this is a really nice crisp black ink. So even just stamping it again with this one is going to bring your images more to life because of that dark crisp black outline. However, I love it because I can add some wow clear gloss super fine embossing powder to it. You can't really use either VersaFine Onyx Black um, just the ink because it's not alcohol marker friendly. It will smudge if you use it before you're coloring. And you also can't emboss it before you're coloring because once you emboss and then you color your images, um, the embossing powder and the alcohol markers just don't mix. Um, it's not a good idea for your markers. <laughs> they will get ruined or there's a chance they will get ruined if you color over an embossed outline too many times. So instead of risking that, I just go to the effort of stamping it twice and then embossing after I'm done coloring because I love an embossed outline. For my sentiment, I am using the Love and Hugs die set from Alex Iberia Designs and I die cut each layer because this is a shadow layer and a scripty layer. I cut each of those three times. Uh, three times out of white cardstock for the shadow layer because I just want to keep that white and for the scripty layer I did cut it once from a light pink cardstock. In fact it was a little bit too light once I put it together I didn't like it anymore but I am going to fix it in the end. Now the way I do this a little bit more efficiently is I add glue to two of the layers and then I stack all of them together and line them up all at once. It's a lifesaver if you're adding a lot of layers together. 
but with intricate dyes I don't like to do it as much so this scripty layer is very very intricate so I do each layer one at a time but for shadow layers I always put glue on all of the layers and then stack them together I'm using Barely Art Precision Craft Glue for all of this and it has a very fine tip so it's very easy to add this glue to a intricate dye. But now you can see that there is not enough contrast by far for this sentiment. So I am adding the same um, pink that I used for the bunnies, uh, for the inside of their ears and for their bellies. I am using that same pink to go over the sentiment and in fact once I was done with this I thought that's what I should have done all along because then the pinks would have matched nicely. Um, that would have been great and now it is <laughs> by accident. So it's always a good thing to keep in mind that you can color your die cut sentiments with a marker color that you've used in your images. It's a great way to tie things together and I should have thought of it before die cutting it from a different pink cardstock. Now you could absolutely use press and seal to pick all of these images up at once and glue them down at once or adhere them down at once. That would be a lot more efficient, but sometimes when I'm watching something while I'm crafting or I'm listening to a good podcast, <laughs> I like to just be fussy and take the long route. So I glued everything down separately. I started with my sentiment because that's front and center. It's basically the focal point of this card. And um, once I was done with that, I added some really small pieces of foam tape behind all of the bunnies. Now you can see that there are still some small gaps around the edges of my card. And there are also some pieces that are overhanging on the edge. So I am trimming those off first with my paper trimmer and then I can add some even tinier pieces of foam tape behind them to add in the gaps and fill up my background of bunnies. Once those are all adhered down, you will see that there are still some small pieces overhanging on my card and I am again going to put this in my trimmer. Um, you can use just scissors to snip them off. I am pretty terrible at snipping some things off of my card with scissors um, when it's things like this, especially if it's propped up on foam tape. I can never get it completely straight, so I like to use a paper trimmer when I can. This is my little bunny card for today. I really love it. I love using small images like this and just repeating them over a very bright background. I love that dark yellow orange cardstock. It's just perfect for a spring card in my opinion. I hope you like it too. The coloring was definitely not my idea. It is absolutely copied from the back of the packaging, but sometimes that's just the sort of um, relaxing coloring that you need in your craft room. I hope you liked the card and I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video, leave your thoughts in the comments below and check out the description to see where you can get these awesome products. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.